Nap cabs are sleeping cabins for airport terminals in Germany that include a full bed, workspace, and internet access. And this sea slug is the first known creature to lose its male organ after sex and then regrow it. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is mind blow. Second Sight has created the first bionic eye device approved for patients in the United States. The retinal prosthetic device can restore some sight to the blind, enough to restore mobility, for example allowing patients to see the sidewalk, parked cars, a table, or see someone coming through a doorway. The Argus 2 is made up of a glasses-mounted video camera, a portable computer worn on a belt, and a chip implanted near the retina. The camera sends data to the computer which converts and relays electrical signals to the chip, which stimulates the retinal cells. And right now it costs around $100,000. Over 80 research institutions around Europe will use around $1.3 billion in funding for the Human Brain Project, a massive undertaking that will use supercomputers to simulate the human brain. But first, they need to develop computers that are actually powerful enough to perform such tasks, with the goal being to further understand how the brain functions, how it's structured, how to better diagnose and treat brain disease, and how to build neuromorphic computers, which have processors that learn like a brain. What do I look like, some kind of urban innovations genius who makes a pool out of an old dumpster? Because that's who I am. This light controlling sheet can switch between mirror and transparent states, allowing windows to better save energy by shutting out sunlight. Electrochromic glass itself is not new technology, but this system works much quicker without radiating heat and they hope to use it in vehicles and buildings. Neil Freeman redrew a map of the US with equal population to reform electoral college votes with each state having an average population of 6,174,911. Tongueduino is an electro-tactile tongue display that provides an internal sense of direction. Developed at the MIT Media Lab, this inexpensive vinyl cut tongue display allows a user to sense orientation, wind, and the lightest touch. And the idea is to not only use this for the visually impaired, but also for more open-ended sensory augmentation. The Japan Society is presenting Robot Theater. They have a couple of one-act plays featuring human, robot, and android actors all dealing with life's big questions by juxtaposing humans and robots in everyday life. Finally, Matthew Borgatti created a robotic silicone tentacle with 3D powder printing that features no hard moving parts. I'm going to leave you with a soft robot that jumps using explosions. So Vsauce 2 recently surpassed 1 million subscribers, and I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for sharing the videos with your friends and family, thanks for being a part of the awesome Vsauce community, and as always, thanks for watching.